Hey, what's going on, Burgos? Butch Terrell here. We are going to do your February read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, we're going to be using the Witch's Tarot, which was always one of my favorite decks. Uh, I just got a new one because my old one is kind of out of shape. <laughs> and with that being said, let's get it. First, we have for Virgo, February 2022. All right, Virgos. So the first thing I see Virgos, I do see first thing I have is new love. I mean, I, I feel like there's someone new coming in for you. But I don't necessarily feel like they're new. You know, I, I feel like... I feel like these feelings that are coming out of this person are new. But I, I do get the sense that you, you... You may have already met this person. Now, I don't feel like there was anything between the two of you. But I feel like this person has been spending a lot of time in their head. You know, I feel like before they come toward you, I feel like they're really, they're really spending a lot of time in their head because I feel like, I feel like this person has been dealing, you know, I, I feel like they deal with a lot of, a lot of anxiety when it comes to the feelings they have for you. And it's not because of anything that has to do with you. I, I just feel like this person has some issues from their past, maybe some trust issues, you know, with this, with the shadow side, as the devil card, you know, I, I feel like this person, I feel like it's been a long time, if ever, this person's felt this deeply for someone. And I feel like, I feel like they always felt like they couldn't, you know, they can never really truly be with someone. You know, I, I feel like this person holds a lot of secrets, but with you, they just feel so open. You know, there's no, there's no bullshit. When they're with you, they're, they feel like an open book and I feel like that scares them, but it also intrigues them, if that makes sense. You know, the, this person's an open book. This person, they wanna tell you everything and they've never felt that way and that's what's got them in their head. I mean, this person only, only thinks about you. You're the only person they think about. They wanna tell you everything and they, I feel like that's something that's not, that's all part of something new for this person. It's not that they like to keep secrets, it's I just feel like they never really trusted anybody. But with you, they just feel this instant trust. They feel like they can tell you anything. They feel like they want to tell you everything. You know, we have the King of Cups. You know, that unconditional love. Like this person feels a lot of strong feelings for you very quickly and I feel like it makes them a bit nervous. To be completely honest with you, I feel like it makes them nervous. You know, I feel like this person has always been, I feel like they've always kind of been on their own. You know, they never really had these type of feelings and now that they have them, I feel like they're so overwhelmed with them. But that's not something we should con concern yourself with because I don't feel like it's going to be much of an issue. You know, this person, they've always been afraid to take that leap. They've always been afraid to tell someone how they truly feel. But with you, they're willing to face their fear and take that leap of faith. You know, with that moon card facing their fears and that fool, you know, the beginning of the journey.
I mean, all this is coming on very quickly. Like I said, it, I mean, it is new love. It is something f fairly new, but they've had time to think about it. And that's, you know, with that hermit, that Virgo energy, they've had time to process this. And no matter which way they look at this, you know, they can't walk away from this, you know? And, and I feel like that deep thought that, you know, in their head, I feel like that's really caused them to really see this in a different perspective. You know, it, it truly takes that one person, you know, that one person to come and change everything, change the game. You know, they feel like you're someone that is on the same page as them. They're, they feel like, they, you know, they, they, they feel like whatever they give, you know, whatever they entrust in you, it's, it's in a vault, you know? They feel like they can trust you. They feel like they don't have to worry about getting stabbed in the back. And I feel like they've always kept it themselves for a very long time. And like I said, I feel like this these feelings are all so new for them, but all it is is love. It's just coming up love. They have so much, you know, they're, they're drawn to you. They're facing their fears for you. You know, that devil card, they've always held back. But with you, they feel fulfilled. They feel, you know, they feel all their cups being filled up. Now with this person, I mean, I feel like they they have their shit together because I feel like they've always concentrated on stability. They never had to concentrate on love. They never had to concentrate on on anything else because they've they're always there to have their own back. They never had anybody to to, to you know share themselves with. So they just concentrated on stability they put you know they have their shit together they know what they wanted but this like i said this is a game changer but they are going to take that leap of faith because they are facing their fears you know they feel that unconditional love for you they feel that pull they just want to be with you they just want to be around you you make them feel like the person they want to be i feel like they had a very empty you know, even though they were successful, even though they had things, everything going for themselves, when it comes to stability, I feel like when it came to love, they were just so lost. But they feel found when they're with you. You know, and that's what's changing the perspective. And like I said, they, finally finding someone that's on the same page, you know, when this person tells you how they feel, you'll know it's genuine. But that Queen of Swords, not afraid to tell you, you know, not, no bullshit, no, no hiding the truth, no half truths, nothing but the truth. So help them God, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this person just wants to open up to you. They've never felt that. And that's, that's part of being in love. When you love someone unconditionally, you're not afraid to tell them the truth. There's no secrets that you're afraid to tell them. And that's how it should be. And like I said, I mean, this person, you know, the Ten of Swords in reverse. I mean, the, the, the being with you makes them feel like they can do anything. Being around you makes them feel like the person they always wanted to be. It reminds them that there's so much more in life than just, you know, stability. Feeling fulfilled, like I said, the Nine of Cups, having all their cups filled, feeling like, you know, anything is possible. And that's the thing what people don't understand about love. It's it's not just about being with the person you're meant to be with, but it also puts a positive, you know, so much positivity in your life. You know, being with someone that can truly depend, that you can depend on and, and giving them someone they can depend on back. I mean, it opens up all these possibilities. It's that ripple effect. Now with this person, like I said, they're not they're not walking away from this. They will nurture this connection. And that thought had the thought of not nurturing this has never crossed their mind. Like I said, I feel like they they went into their head that you know with that that hermit, but that's only changing the perspective of what they really want. And what they really want is you. You know, this person will put in the work for you. 
and they will make you an offer. And it's going to be a very genuine offer. Like I said, it's, you know, this is all, from what I see here, there's nothing that was going to stop this person from making the offer. I feel like they had to go through the motions because it's new. You know, but I, I do see a lot of forward movement. You know, I do, we have the sun card. I see a lot of happiness. And all the things I see, you know, for movement, you know, this this is someone that's going to be very loyal because this is not something that they were expecting to find. You know, they found themselves a gem and they're not going to let go. You know, their treasure is right in front of them and they're not going to let go of that for anything. And that's, like I said, you know, we have that chariot, you know, that cancer energy, that loyalty. You know, this is someone that will show up for you. They will put in the work. And they'll appreciate what you do for them. You know, getting what you want. You will get what you want from this. Like I said, we got the Sun card. We got the Ten of Pentacles. You know, I see the, the sky's the limit here. No games, no bullshit. Like I said, when they say something, you, you'll you know it's true and you'll just feel it that way. You know, trust your intuition. But like I said, that. I feel like before this person makes themselves known, I feel like they already know you. You know, they might have just met you, but they're, you know, they're already thinking three steps ahead before they come towards you. And once they make that offer, you know, you know they're going to be nurturing this. You know they're going to be taking that leap of faith because it's worth it. You're worth it. Now with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We have Libra, Aquarius, possibly some Gemini. But it's... It's all about perspective. I always say that. And I know I'm a Sagittarius, so I know I, I'm usually the optimist. But it's, you know, somebody could be a certain way their whole life, you know, never trusting anybody and never, never wanting to give anybody the chance to screw them over. So they never truly give. But then they just meet that one person where it's impossible for them to ignore it. You know, and that's when you know you found your person. When all you want to do is tell them everything, you know, completely expose yourself and leave you at their Leave yourself at their mercy. You know, that's when you know you found that person. The truth comes easy when you love someone. Ooh, cotton ball. <laughs> but when you love someone, it, it, it's it's completely different. I mean, you know, it, there's I've met so many people in my life and people that, you know, I, I never thought they would they were even interested in that. You know, I have a, one of my really good friends. He's He works his ass off. He, he works 18 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, he was never seen, like, he never had girlfriends. He never really went out. And then one day he met a girl, and, and that was, it's only six months ago, so let's, let's give him some time, but he's all about it, you know? And it, like I said, it only takes that one person to show up in your life to change everything. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.